Hey there, it's Izzy here again. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a way we can repurpose an effect in Final Cut Pro 10 to do something that I don't think it was originally designed to do, but it's a really clever solution sent to me in a comment through Jerry Winter, one of the viewers. So thanks, Jerry, for sending this over. In the previous video, I showed you how you can use the effects browser, grab the sensor effect, drop it onto your video clip, and now what you have, I'm gonna close this down, what you have is an area of your video that is censored, and you can move it around to censor out me or the hexacopter or whatever, and I can change the size. Well, one of the things that I mentioned in the previous video is I'm not sure why, I mentioned that I'm not sure why somebody would have the ability to invert this. Let me show you. If I click on the inspector button, and then I check the invert box, now what happens is everything else is pixelated except for me. Well, I probably wouldn't use this. However, Jerry mentioned that what he does sometimes is he changes the method to darken, and then reduce the amount. What you end up with is, an area of your video that is highlighted. So it's the opposite of censoring it out. Now what you have is something that's highlighted. So for example, let's say I wanna follow this hexacopter as it takes off. Then what I can do is, let's see, I'm gonna move the playhead to right as it's taking off here. And I'm gonna set a keyframe on the center parameter. See where this is, I'm setting, okay, at this point on this specific frame, I want the values of the center to be exactly this. So it locks that in. Then I move the playhead forward and then I, move the center again, it's creating another keyframe on that frame. And then same thing here, I'm gonna create another keyframe just by moving this around, it's automatically creating keyframes for me now. I'm just gonna follow the hexacopter into the air here a little bit, and it goes off at an angle, I'm gonna follow that over. And then the same thing here, and then I think just probably one more is all we're gonna need. I'll go back one frame, and then here we go. Okay, so now if I follow, if I go back and I play through this, let's see what happens. It's gonna take off, and sure enough, I have a little oval there. Now it is an oval, it's not a perfect circle, but it still does the same kind of effect that what you see out there. You can imagine using this type of effect in a sports video, you know, kids running around on a field and you need to highlight one of the players. Here's a great example of how you could do that using a sensor effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Incidentally, one more thing I wanna do here just to demonstrate this is that I did animate the center parameter, as you know, but I can also animate the amount. So for example, if I move the playhead right before it takes off, so maybe right around here, I'm gonna lock in the amount by clicking on the keyframe button, and then I'm gonna go back a few frames, and then I'm gonna set another keyframe. I don't have to actually click on the add a keyframe button now because I already set a keyframe on this parameter, so all I have to do now is just change the amount. I'm gonna move it down to zero. So what happens is if I play it from the beginning of the clip, it's there's no highlight at all, then as you can see it fades in, and then it takes off and follows along. So that's just another interesting way that you might want to use the sensor effect in Final Cut Pro 10 to highlight something instead of to hide it. Hopefully you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.